Hello everyone. Welcome to equity-alerts.com. My name is Lindsay, but also known as the Matica Kid in our trading webinar. Purpose of this video today is to show you how to set up Fibonacci lines on your chart. To set up Fibonacci lines takes a couple of steps, but just follow along in this video and I will show you how to set up your own Fibonacci lines. I assume that you have become a member of Equity Alerts by signing up for our membership through equity-alerts.com. By becoming a member, you will have the choice to also subscribe to our Clear Lines software. Once you sign up and become a member at Equity Alerts, you will be allowed to enter our daily trading webinar. Once you become a member, you will be sent a confirming email of your membership, along with a link to the medvedtrader.com website. Or you can go directly to www.medvedtrader.com. M E D V E D trader.com. Once you go to their website, you need to enter your account information and that will allow you to access the Medved trading platform. Now that you're a member at Medved, you need to download their software found on their website that will allow you access to the Medved trading platform. Now that you've downloaded the software, you need to either start a new chart or open up an old chart and you will get a display that's very similar to the one on your screen right now. Currently, I am showing a 30 minute window of AMD that is displaying trading over the last roughly three days. Now I'll show you how to get and draw Fibonacci lines on your chart. The first thing you need to do is bring up your dashboard and that will display something very similar to this. This display by clicking one of these buttons will take you to various parts of their software. You need to click on this settings button and you'll be using this settings button many times while you're setting up your Medved charts. Okay, hit the settings button and you will see a display that looks just like this. On the left side of your display, you'll see a number of actions that you can take. The one that we're going to use today is under the chart section where it says Fibonacci values. Click on that link and you will get a display that looks something like this. The first time you display the setting, and highlight Fibonacci values, you will probably see zeros in all these locations, in all these boxes, on the left side and the right side. So what you need to do is to enter whatever Fib line you want to see on your screen. Right now, you'll see that I have set up a number of different Fibonacci levels. I have entered a number of different Fibonacci levels, some that I probably will not usually display on my charts, but I have the options to display any one of these figures, Fibonacci levels that I've entered. Once you've entered the Fibonacci levels that you want to display on your chart, just hit apply and hit OK, and you'll go back to your dashboard settings. You can now minimize the dashboard window. This will take you right back to your chart. And in this case, I still have AMD displayed with a 30 minute time frame. Once you're back at the screen with your charts displayed, you should see up at the top a number of buttons, main view, draw, trading, and templates. What you need to do is go up to where it says draw left click that button and you'll get a display that is very similar to this. This display will allow you to do 
and draw many different lines. A trend line, an alert line, you can display a box, triangle, circle, and a number of others. But what you want to do is to click where it says Fibonacci Retracements. Once you've clicked that Fibonacci Retracement button, it will activate your drawing tool on your chart. So let's say in this particular case, I want to draw fib lines for this 30 minute candle on AMD. All you have to do is left click the spot where you want to begin and scroll up to the spot where you want to end. And those Fibonacci lines are displayed. Now what you need to do here to set up the Fibonacci lines you want to have displayed on your chart. Go to any, any one of these lines. I have them colored in blue at the moment. Right click on it and you will see a window that looks like this. You should note that there are a number of boxes on this display. For every number of Fib lines that I entered to be displayed as a Fib line, all those choices are now in this box. And what you want to do is to go through the particular fib lines that you want displayed on your chart. So what you need to do is click the box for every fib line that you want displayed. I have the 0, 236, 382, 50, 618, and a number of other ones. You don't have to show them all if you don't want to. You can show them all if you want to. But click the ones that you want to display normally display on your chart. Once you've done that, hit set as default. All right, then hit OK. And you'll notice when I drew my fib line lines, the boxes that I indicated are now drawn. Those fib lines where I clicked the box are now drawn on your screen. So now you've decided to draw another fib line on another candle. Go up to draw, activate your Fibonacci retracement tool, come down here, start wherever you want to begin your fib lines, left click, hold it down, scroll up to wherever you want to show your fib lines at the top of that candle in this case, and you'll see again, it will display the default settings that you have set up on your charts. On the left side, it will show the Fibonacci line percentage or number. And over on the right, it will show the exact price of each individual Fibonacci line. Now let's say you want to remove your Fibonacci lines. All I have to do is right click on any one of the lines, go down to this red cross here, again, click that box, and they disappear. It takes a couple of steps to get your Fibonacci lines drawn on your chart, but hopefully following this video, you will now understand how to set your Fibonacci charts. Finally, if you have any questions, all you have to do is email us to orders at equity-alerts.com. Either myself, Jim, or Kip will, resp will respond to your email as soon as possible. I want to thank you all for signing up and receiving our Equity Alerts daily webinar, trading webinar. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We'll get back to you and hopefully answer your question. Thank you very much. Have a good day, and we will see you later.